Hi, my name is Vibeke and welcome to Diving Ducks Crochet. Today I want to show you yet another dishcloth tutorial. If you want to see all my other dishcloths, then go ahead and check out the playlist on my channel page. So the cloth today will be in the Trinity stitch, as you can see right here. And this stitch is actually quite great for cloths because it works up really fast and on the same time it's pretty firm. So I like this stitch for cloths. Um, this tutorial today will be shown with a cloth measuring 20 centimeters across. If you like a bigger cloth, you can easily add more chains. I have a free written pattern on my homepage. I will leave a link down in the description. And on that homepage, there will be stitch numbers for other sizes. So if you think 20 centimeters is too small for cloth, you can do 30 centimeters and I will write you the stitch numbers for that, etc. So let me show you how to do this cloth. First, a little about the materials. For the yarn, I've used this 100% cotton in a size sport weight 2. This color is turquoise, and I will write down in the description how much yarn you will need for this cloth. Then I've used a 3mm hook and some scissors. And finally, a tapestry needle to weave in the ends. We begin with a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn, take the long end of the yarn behind the loop, wrap it from the middle with your hook, and pull. Then we create a chain, so yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through. For this pattern to work, we need to chain up an even number of stitches. So I will chain up 50 chains. When we have our 50 chains, we will now begin working into these chains. And we will skip the first one, move on to the second one and do a single crochet. So insert the hook in the second chain and single crochet into this. Now we want to do the trinity stitch and that is three single crochet together. And we will begin in this stitch where we just did the single crochet. So you insert the hook, then you yarn over and pull through and then leave it on the hook. Then insert the hook in the next stitch or in the next chain, yarn over and pull through. And then in the next chain, insert the hook, yarn over and pull through. So now you have four loops on the hook. We will pull all, all four together. So yarn over and then pull through all four loops. Then we chain one. And then we do the trinity stitch again. So the first stitch will be in this stitch where we just did all the stitches and then the next two chains. So three single crochet together in these three stitches. So insert the hook in the stitch where you just did the stitches, yarn over and pull through. Insert the hook in the next chain, yarn over and pull through. And then in the next chain as well, insert the hook, yarn over and pull through. Now we have four loops on the hook. We yarn over and pull all four together. Now we chain one and then we work the next three together. So in this stitch we just did and the next two chains. So insert the hook in the stitch, yarn over and pull through and then in the next chain insert the hook, yarn over and pull through and then in the next one, insert the hook, yarn over and pull through. You now have four loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops. Then we chain one and continue the same way all the way across. When we're almost all the way across, it looks like this. And I now only have two chains left to go. And that's perfect because we are working into this one and then the next two chains. So I will finish first a chain one and then I crochet the next three single crochet together. And that's it. So in the final stitch, I will not chain one. I will just do a single crochet to end this row. So in this stitch we just did, I will do one single crochet to finish it off. 
and that's the first row. This row you will repeat again and again. So you will now chain one to turn and you will do this every time. So then you turn and then you skip your turning chain, move on to the next one and single crochet into this. So just one single crochet. And then we begin the trinity stitch. So you will again do three single crochet together and you will begin in this stitch where you just did the single crochet. So do not chain one, only between the trinity stitches. In the first stitch we will not chain one before. So just insert the hook in the stitch where you just did the single crochet. Insert the hook, yarn over and pull through. Then find your next stitch, this one. Insert the hook, yarn over and pull through. And then in the next stitch, insert the hook into this, yarn over, pull through. So now we have four loops on the hook, yarn over and pull them together. Then chain one and do the next trinity stitch. So begin in this stitch, insert the hook, yarn over and pull through, leave it on the hook, find your next stitch, insert the hook, yarn over and pull through, and the next stitch, insert the hook, yarn over and pull through. We have four loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all of them. Then you just repeat this row again and again. So continue all the way to the end and finish the row exactly the same way as the other one with a single crochet in the end, chain one and turn. Then I repeat this row until my cloth is as tall as it is wide. I've done 20 centimeters wide, so I've also crocheted for 20 meters this direction. Now I will cut the yarn, so just leave a bit of a tail and then we will leave in this end. So just pull this loop through like this and find your tapestry needle. And then I will show you how I weave in my ends. So I will just take this needle and run through some stitches. So I will just go through some of these uh, Trinity stitches. And just go in like through a tunnel of stitches like this, then pull through just until it's, it's through so you don't pull in the corner. You see if you pull too much then the corner will go in and that's not pretty. Now you will go back through the same tunnel but somewhere else than where you came out. So just skip this first stitch and then go back through the same tunnel of stitches all the way through. And again, don't pull too much, then you will pull the stitches just until it's through. And then back through the same tunnel again, of course, from a different starting point. So just pull through. Then we can cut the yarn. Whoops. And then you will have your cloth with the Trinity stitch. And this is how it looks. I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!